Two years ago, when I started sailing, I never changed oil on a car, never mind changing oil on a sailboat. So I did what every new sailboat owner does. I consulted YouTube. <laughs> I was disappointed by the information I found on YouTube. It was either uh, videos that were over my head that gave me way too much information or poorly made videos that did not give me enough how-to. So I'm making this video in an attempt to give back to the YouTube community uh, uh, and also to learn through the process of teaching of how to change oil on a Yanmar diesel engine on a sailboat. So here is my Yanmar three-cylinder engine. Uh, the first step is to start the engine uh, to uh, uh, to allow the oil uh, to become thinner with heat. Uh, the warmer oil becomes thinner, so the viscosity of the oil is easier to uh, siphon out. So we're going to start the engine. We let the engine run for about five minutes at 1,000 to 1,500 RPM to uh, make the oil easier to, with, to siphon out. And that's RPM going to about 1,500. And we'll let it run for about five minutes for the oil to warm. I'm down next to the engine. The second step I like to do is I like to inspect the oil before I uh, change it. What I look for when I inspect the oil, I look for a feeling of contamination, if the oil is contaminated. I look for the level of oil that I've taken out so I know how much I would have to put back in. Let's have a closer look here uh, at the dipstick. I'm also looking for the color of the oil. Uh, diesel engine oil is supposed to have a viscosity of uh, similar that to, so I have this level here, similar that to olive oil. If the oil was too thin, that could be an indication that uh, fuel may have found its way to the oil pan and had collected there. If the oil was to be thick and creamy, that would indicate um, water that has been contaminated into the system. In both cases, uh, this has to be resolved first before you change your oil. Step three, now that the engine is warmed and the oil is uh, warm and toasty, I'm going to use an oil change pump. It has a tank as well and a hose that goes into the oil uh, intake uh, dipstick and I siphon the oil out. I already know how much oil uh, sits inside my engine so I have an idea of how much I'm going to withdraw. I have a Yanmar 3 uh, cylinder engine that takes 2.6 liter of oil. So let's go ahead and do it. In this step, I'm taking the hose and I'm sticking the hose inside the opening for the dipstick and siphoning the oil out. Stick it as far as it would go so it can reach as uh, deep as it can inside the oil uh, pan. You can hear it dripping into the cylinder here. Another trick we can do is we can uh, open the oil intake uh, pan 
need to allow air to go into the system right there and I'll continue siphoning The next step is to add oil uh, for the oil that we had taken out. I've taken about two liters of oil. I have about three liters here. Uh, I recommend using uh, whichever oil your engine uh, calls for. You have to unscrew the uh, oil uh, fill filler lid right here. And we drip some oil here, but get that in there. Uh huh. And let's see how we're gonna do that. It's really tight space. It smells fresh. Now the last step is changing your oil filter. It's usually uh, hand tight, so you want to untighten it. You want to make sure that the rubber band on your oil filter comes out as well. Once you put the new filter in, I'm going to lubricate it with regular oil, the same oil that I used on the engine. Then I'm going to put it inside. I'm going to hand tighten it one turn uh, clockwise. Okay, so that's the old oil filter. The rubber casket still there. That's something you really need to pay attention to. And that's it. The last step is starting the engine to check for leaks. <laughs>